welcome to QLab. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but things have been very, very busy here. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make iron oxide, which is a nice little bit of chemistry that we can do at home. So, without further ado, if you want to follow along, everything you need is in the description, and let's get started. So I'm using the same method described by NerdRage, and it's just a simple electrolytic cell to make some iron oxide. So let's get these in. With the iron being our anode, and remember an electrolytic cell anode is positive, it's a little battery, and cathode is negative. Do it the other way around. Focus, focus. Ah, focused. Lovely. Salt solution in here. I've just got a simple bit of iron on the uh, cathode, and that's where our hydrogen gas is going to be generated. And then over here on the anode is where our iron, uh, iron oxide, should be generated. Oh well, iron hydroxide will become iron oxide. So I'm going to connect this up. Now, this is going to give off hydrogen gas, which of course is flammable. So it needs to be a well-ventilated area. And I'm going to open up the windows and have the fan running while this is going. See, straight away, you can probably hear it. The bubbling off this side. But you don't want bubbling off that side. If you have bubbling off that side, you probably have chlorine gas coming off. That's not such a good thing. Right, I'm going to pull the camera angle down and you can actually see what's going on. So after three days, and it hasn't been running for three days, um, it only ran for one night, uh, two days, so one day that I started it and then the next, and I just put one other battery onto it. You can see there's all this orange material, which is hopefully iron oxide, and then there's a whole load of black material at the bottom here. So the first thing we're going to do is filter this and I'm just using some very simple kitchen roll it's important to rinse the material a number of times so I've just put water into here and that's all I'm flushing through the um, kitchen roll that I'm using to filter. Kitchen roll isn't the most ideal filter. A good thing would be a coffee filter, uh, but these are aggregate particles, so they should collect quite well. So I can start clearing this material from here that's in the filter, just by scraping up lodging it into the beaker. What we're going to do is we're going to heat it on here to drive off the water and convert it into the iron oxide rust.
so here is the final product with that lovely sort of brownish, I, I say it almost looks like a clay. And of course, that's because clays have a huge amount of ferrates in them. Um, now, I've scraped out the beaker. You can see I've tried to get as much out as possible. And we've got this lovely small amount of iron oxide or ferric oxide, which is Fe2O3. And this is a lovely compound. You can use it in pigments, but it can also be used as a catalyst. In fact, it has quite a lot of uses. It also has uses in the thermite reaction, which we might cover one day, but uh, not right now. Something I found particularly interesting about this is its magnetic properties. So I have a little neodymium magnet here, and I'm just going to pass this over the top and see if you can... Oh, well that definitely tells you it's magnetic. Can you see, as I move it around, that the parts are moving? There we go. So some of it's very magnetic, which is fascinating. It's obviously less magnetic than iron itself would be. And I'll let you think about why that might be the case. But it's due to unpaired electrons. Gives you a big, big hint. But this is just fantastic. And it gives a bit of a hint as the potential structure of this iron oxide. Right, better take that away without making a mess. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do a few little videos about some iron chemistry. All stuff that can be done at home and is quite nice. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, why not like and subscribe? Thanks for watching and bye!